Okay. Support relationship with terrorists and families. Under this, we have Okay. Assess and acknowledge the role and importance of carers and family members for the person. So when we say acknowledge the role and importance of carers and family members for the person, okay? Because the the elderly can meet their needs with the support system coming from their own family, of course, from the care itself. Okay, the role of carers, carer and family member, the task completed by carer, family members include cleaning, cooking, buying groceries, taking them to medical appointments, filling, uh, filing in, uh, in forms, bathing organizing other care services and paying bills okay basic family structures we have the nuclear we have the parents and siblings extended we have living in the in one roof with grandparents aunts uncles and cousins okay working with parents single parents large age gap between siblings, young parents, step families, and adoption. Those are the structures and of family in the society. And things affecting family relationship and dynamics. We have personalities of each family members. Okay. Having other family members who are disabled or chronically sick. Relationship between parents, numbers or number of siblings, absent parents, cultural background, the values and beliefs, the closeness of family members, the dynamics of previous generation in the family. So those are the things affecting family relationship and dynamics. Next, we have work in a manner that recognizes and support carers relationship with and knowledge about the person with support needs. Okay. Next, we have carer relationship may include child, friend, grandparents, neighbor, other relative, parent, sibling, spouse, or partner, including same-sex partner. Carer's knowledge, we have care preferences, hobbies, life, story, needs, leisure, activities, daily schedule, dealing with conflict, food preferences, personality, normal behavior, behaviors of concern, and medication. So if you will be looking after the elderly, okay, make sure that you have a knowledge with regards to the care preference of your patient. When we say care preference, okay, what are the needs of your uh, patient with regards to his uh, preferred care? So, is your client need to be toileted every four hours? Okay, the is the client wanted to to uh, what do you call it? The client may want to take the medication every four hours. Those are the care preference. Okay, hobbies. Your what are the for you to be able to relate to your 
patient or to your client, you should have at least a knowledge of their habits during the time that they are still productive. Okay? Like a story, at least you know the background of your, of your client so that you will be able to understand when they behave sometimes that unusual. Okay? Needs, leisure activities, what are the things that your clients want to, to, to do during those times that they, they are still in uh, productive years. Okay? Are they a fan of going to, to the beach? Are they fan of going to, to play, uh, what do you call this, golf? bowling or any leisure activities that he or she uh, fun of doing okay next is daily schedule what are the daily schedule of your client is your client have the schedule to go to, to, to church every Wednesday is your clients have a schedule to talk to their uh, to, to her daughter every uh, Thursday night those are the daily schedules that you need to learn Okay, is this the client want to have a shower at eight o'clock in the morning? Okay, because when they get old, they have a routinary uh, schedule. When we say routinary schedule, when it say eight o'clock, it should be eight o'clock. Okay, when they need to call their daughter at around at, on every Wednesday at five o'clock, they need to be structured. Okay, dealing with conflict. So if your if your client behaving unusual as a carer, you should have the knowledge on how you will deal your client. The food preferences, okay? What are the diet dietary uh, recommended to your patient or to your client? The personality, normal behavior, okay? Behaviors of concern and medication those are the things that that you need to to learn if you will be uh, looking after the patient or the client those are the things that you need to to learn right next identify the knowledge and skills of the carer that complement the role of the worker under this we have Knowledge and skills of carers. Everyone will have different skills, knowledge, strength, and weaknesses. You should identify carer skills and knowledge and work out how it can complement your own. Okay? Together, you will provide a comprehensive skills set. All clients' needs will be covered. If there's a gap, then you as a carer need to fill the gap. Okay? Example of knowledge and skills. Okay, includes people's skills. Okay? On how you will deal the other people. Okay? Communication skills. Observation skills. Teamwork skills. Negotiation, knowledge of specific disabilities, okay? experience working with age or disability care, experience dealing with violent outbursts, okay? and active listening. So this is, those are the common skills that you need to, to learn. Okay? Remember that you will be dealing those people who already with dementia okay knowledge and the specific disability disabilities experience working with age care disability care experience dealing with a violent outburst okay so if your client become violent so what you need to what uh, intervention you can do for you to be able to manage the client having a violent behavior okay you cannot uh, ignore your client with that kind of behavior because 
if you just ignore it, then the client may have the chance to, to hurt other resident. So as a nurse who are looking after those kind of behavior, what are you, what you have, at least you have a knowledge on how you will be able to control and manage that resident. Okay? And active listening. When we say active listening, when your client want to tell you something, okay? For example, the client is telling you about her story. Even though it's keep on repeating every day, then you still have the time to listen. Okay? Because if you just ignore the client, then the client might uh, become agitated because no one wants to listen to them. Okay? Question. Do you have any question? No question? No question. All right. Next, we have involved carers and families in the design and delivery of person support services. So in the previous uh, unit, you, we already discussed that we encourage the family members and the client itself to be present during the time that we are uh, organizing uh, the care plan that designed for the client. Okay? We encourage them to be there, to listen, and we encourage them to make any suggestions if they think that the care plan is not uh, comfortable with the patient. Of course, we also encourage the client itself to decide and ensure that the client understood what is written in the care plan. Okay? So if the client may not uh, feel uh, comfortable, then we might ask the client, what do you think might be comfortable for you? Because at the end of the day, it is the client who will receive the service. It is the client who is the recipient of care. Okay? Question? Under this, we have designing and delivering support services. Essential to include carer and family as well as the person themselves. They will have a better understanding. They may spot something that you've missed. Okay? Ensure support services are suitable and beneficial. Okay? May involve planning daily activities. When we say ensure support services are suitable and beneficial, the clients should be the first and priority okay? to benefit for the care plan that we are organizing for them. We are organizing the care plan to give benefits and convenience to our client, to our patient, not for the nurses. Okay? Clear? Daily activities that may need planning as part of the person, support services include Accessing financial resources and allowances, shopping, preparing meals, climbing stairs, maintaining household, interacting with others, and socializing, recreational and sporting activities, socializing. All right. Next is access and respond to changes in the relation, uh, in the care relationship. Under this, we have assess potential risk of change to the care relationship, including any potential physical and psychological harm to carers and the person. So, 
when we say assess potential risk, remember that we are always dealing with our clients, always dealing with our patient 24-7. So if you are really concerned to your client, you can assess if your client has a potential okay, risk of change in the care relationship including potential physical and psychological harm to carers and the person okay so we need to discuss it deeper risk of change care relationship will naturally change okay can have positive and negative effect can change relationship dynamics. Change can create many potential risks. Risk can include physical and psychological harm, conflict, stress, worsening health for both person and the carer. All right. Physical and psychological harm. Okay. This is common for those elderly who lives in their own place. Okay. If the family wants to keep their parents in their place, there will be a time that the carer can no longer manage to look after the patient. When the health of the person deteriorates, okay, that person needs to be looked after by someone who is really expert for that case. Okay. Physical and psychological harm, okay? if you can no longer bear to manage the, the person's health, okay? it may harm to you physically or it may give burden to you psychologically. So you need someone to help you okay? for you to be able to address the needs of your patient or your client okay conflict okay and stress worsening health for both person and carer okay so if, if this case happened then the the family need to make a decision to put or place their parents in the facility so that their parents will be looked after for those people who are really expert in dealing with that type of uh, situation is next support the person carer and family to identify and use strategy that maximize positive aspect of change and transition under this we have maximizing positive aspect of change and transition so identify the positive aspect figure out ways you can maximize them support person carer and family to identify and use strategies that will help maximize positive aspect these strategies may include Okay. Acknowledging anxiety. Okay. Providing opportunity for active involvement. Okay. Maximizing support structure. Promoting benefits of self-care and providing reassurance. So when we say acknowledging anxiety. Okay. If the family and the carer will only the one to uh, look after the elderly. There will be a time that the family can no longer bear the behavior of their parents. Okay? Acknowledging anxiety because if you are the one looking after your parents, you need to sacrifice some social activities that you are doing before. Because you need to focus on your, uh, on your elderly so that you will be able to address their needs. 
the carer will come but eventually they will they will leave after the hours of their care so the one who left behind will be the family okay providing opportunities for active involvement okay so especially for the elderly and the family who are looking after their parents okay so we encourage them to be involved in some activities in the community so that they have something uh, support system that will uh, support them uh, emotionally psychologically and other things okay maximizing support structure okay support structure means those people who may uh, uh, refer okay so there's there is a uh, organizations that can help okay that will promote benefits for the elderly and also for the family promoting benefits of self-care and providing reassurance okay providing the assurance meaning that if you need anything if you need help with regards to the needs of your parents with the needs with regards to the needs of your elderly okay don't do not hesitate to approach us okay because we will help you as as uh, as we can okay next Support carers, families, and friends to maximize ongoing support and involvement in the life of the person. Under this, we have okay, maximizing ongoing support. Support carers, family, and friends to maximize ongoing support and involvement in person's life. It's all about working together. Don't take over complement the carer family and friends how do they support the person how are they involved in their life how can you support them to maximize this and ask them what they want from you don't just assume okay it's all about working together okay so the the nurse the carer and the family it needs to work hand in hand for you to be able to meet the needs of the elderly okay don't take over you just need to perform your duties and responsibilities within your scope of practice you just need to perform your duties and responsibility within the scope of your practice okay if you think that the needs of your clients is no longer within the scope of your duties and responsibilities then you need to inform your supervisor about the concern of your client okay don't take over means do not perform the duties of responsibilities that is not within the scope of your practice okay do not pretend that you are an rn okay because the rn has different duties and responsibilities than the carer complement the carer family and friends how they support the person how they involved in their life how can you support them to maximize this and ask them what they want from you okay do not assume okay question question no question okay. thank you guys are you there or i'm talking by myself no you i we are here 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 okay because if you don't have any questions i'm scared 
It's either you understood my lecture or you don't understand anything. Yes. Like when you talk, say we do this, it's from whose point of view? Like from the we're talking about in the nursing home environment, isn't it? Okay. So in community care. Both nursing home and community care. Because okay. in your when you finish your program, you can work. It's either in community care or in nursing home. So when you say community care, you will work in an agency wherein they will deploy you to other, uh, to different uh, elderly, to different uh, uh, place for the looking after different people. Okay, every every day. Okay. So, any questions? If it's for, from the agency, means uh, if we want to work the community care service yeah. area, so we have to join to the agency. Agency and community services uh, who will look for, uh, uh, who will look for work that will suit to your qualification as a carer or assistant in nursing. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So it's like that we, we, every time we've been assigned to a job, we need to be aware of all the relationship, all the parties involved in any yes. case. Any yes, care. yeah. Okay. So okay. especially if you will be working in the community sector, okay, you should know, at least you have an idea Okay, who is the person that you need to look after? What is, what are the background of the, what are the background of that person? Okay, so that when when you start working with them, at least you have an idea how you will manage. How will you deliver the care that the person needs? Uh, Chuma. Yeah. May I the 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 area, the field of the community service is like the disability and the old person and what else? A disability, looking after the... Uh, 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 oh. The area of the, the, the field of the community service. Yeah. The, so you are taking age care, okay? Age care. So, yeah. The main focus of your program is in age care and disability. So you can only focus on that. All right. Okay. You can okay. De definitely you cannot work uh, in children's with uh, disability. It depends on the agency if they will uh, allow you to work there. Okay. All right. Okay. But right now your the main focus of your program is to it's for elderly. Elderly. Okay. Okay. Next. Respect the confidentiality and privacy of the carer as well as the person with support needs. Under this, we have confidentiality and privacy. You need to respect confidentiality and privacy of both the carer and the person with support needs. Okay. It's part of your duty of care. Maybe organizational policies in place. Confidentiality is related to protecting personal information, example names and addresses. We'll need to give them privacy to when getting dressed. Okay, let's uh, focus on confidentiality. So, you will, of course, you will have an access for the information of your patient, your uh, client. Of course, you will have an access whether 
personal information. Okay? So, not only the personal information, you will have an access what type of uh, uh, you will also have an access and the medical records. Okay? You will ha also have an access in the medication that they are taking. Okay? So, whatever information you gather coming from your client, you need to treat it with confidentiality. Okay? The information that you can get coming from your client should not be revealed to the other person, to the public places. Okay? Especially the name of your client should not be uh, uh, revealed in those people who don't have any business for that client. You can only share the information that you gather to those people involved in giving care to that person. But if the person don't have any business to your patient, then you don't need to give any information to them. Okay? We'll need to give them privacy when they are dressing. When they have visitor, you need to give them time to talk and leave them. Okay? You need to respect your client. Make sure when you enter to the room, you need to knock first, introduce your name, and what are you going to do to them. If you're going to give them the shower, then you need to tell them that I'm giving you a shower today. So when you're undressing the client, make sure that the door is locked or the door is closed. Do not lock. The door is closed and the curtain is closed. Okay? Question. Question. Next. Identify and respond to the need for services required by the carer to support the care relationship with the person. Okay. Under this, we have services. Okay. Carers should not try to take on everything they should seek help from relevant services if they need it encourage them to do so okay identify needs for services point them in the right direction or arrange it for them services may include cleaning services shopping transport and respite for the person or carer so when we say Carers should not try to take on everything. Remember, class, that you only have a certain responsibilities that you need to follow. You just have a duties and responsibilities stipulated to your contract. Up to what extent you're going to deliver your service to your client. Okay. If it is not within your duties and responsibilities, then you need to look for someone who is really knowledgeable to address the needs of your resident or your client. Okay. If your client is complaining of chest pain, okay, so definitely it is no longer within the scope of your practice to make an intervention to your client you need to refer it to your rn to your supervisor okay that the client is having chest pain because you don't know what is happening okay do not ignore and do not pretend that you know what you're doing 
because anything's happened to your client if they are for example if they are complaining chest pain and they are already on 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 the they already having a symptoms of cardiac uh, uh, or heart attack okay and you did not tell to your supervisor you will be the one to uh, to answer the to the family not only to the family if the family will file a complaint in court and then then you will be the one to answer to answer the in uh, you will be the one to answer it in court okay so do not ignore if they think that it's no longer within the scope of your practice then you need to inform your supervisor so that your supervisor will be the one to organize so that we are able to to address the needs of our patient okay they should seek help from relevant services if needed okay that's what i'm telling you identify needs for services point them in the right direction or arrange the arrange it for them okay any questions so when we say respite for per person or care okay respite care okay is uh for example the the family the is the family who is looking after their parents okay where go for holiday then they need to arrange the nursing home so that the elderly will will be uh, in house in that nursing home while they are on holiday okay and for other example if the if the patient is just newly charged and uh, not newly discharged from the hospital and need a close monitoring by the the nurses then the family may arrange a respite care for the family while the person is still on having their recuperation rehabilitation and then when they feel when when the uh, patient or elderly gain their strength if they can manage to go back to their own place then they can go back that is the respite care okay next okay identify and respond to issues that may impact on the physical and emotional health and well-being of carer under that we have Issues that may that can impact on care and we have the time consuming nature of caring, the schedule of caring, the social stigma of caring, the restriction on working hours, losing the lifestyle they had prior to caring, changes in personality, the cost of caring for someone having to deal with funding and applications and the lack of external rewards for caring so this is this is common for those uh, uh, family who are caring for their parents okay because they they can only get their what they call this caring allowance a carer allowance from center link okay if you will be the one to to look after your parents of course your social activities will be impacted you can no longer attend to the social gatherings that you are always uh, uh, doing before okay? you cannot go on travel Okay? because you are the one no one will look after your parent okay losing lifestyle they had prior to caring if you are fun of if they are fun of going to parties going to to the RSL then it will it will change okay if you will be the one to look after you if they will be the one to look after their parents 
because it's their sole responsibility if they accepted that uh, that uh, obligation then they need to give up those things that they are uh, uh, doing prior to the prior to, to this okay question okay the impact these issues have on career a decline in emotional well-being exhaustion financial difficulties grief and loss decline in other family relationship decline in physical health and well-being med or medical lack of social participation stress or decline or lack of workforce participation this is common issues if the family is the one looking after their parents okay because you will bear all this they will bear all this a decline in emotional well-being exhaustion because you are the one uh, you will be the one to do everything okay giving showering to your parents giving uh washing your parents okay of course you only defend to the allowance that the fa the the center link will give to you as a personal carer of your parents okay so any questions with regards to this uh sorry juma yeah uh like for this uh, uh like e if the person parent is like the parents uh, does he need any like specific things or this i don't think he need these things it's like family like you're looking after your parents that's uh, yes but in australia if you will be the one to if you will be the one to look after your parents okay yeah the center link is giving you a carer allowance oh okay yes but, so, but the this uh, but the problem sorry. here okay if you will be the one to look after your parents you need to give up everything that you're that you are used to do before okay you cannot go for a holiday because no one will look after your parents if you want to go for holiday you need to ask permission from center link oh okay yeah all right i saw just like a family thing you don't have to no in australia you have you need to declare that you will look after your parents so that you can get a care allowance from center link Oh, okay. Yeah. So what else? Hello. Hi, Juma. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I was for family to look after my parent, the parents. Pardon? Family, how many hours to look after parents? How many hours? Yeah. It's 24 7. Oh, how much you pay? <laughs> How much pay? It depends on the center link. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that that is the that's what I'm telling you, that 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 is the the, the impact these issues have on carer. If you will be the one looking after your parents, you will have financial difficulties because you will only depend to the allowance that the center link will be, in, uh, will give to you. Okay. decline in other family relationships because you cannot attend any birthdays any celebrations because no one will look after your parents decline in physical health and well-being okay because uh, you your your focus is to look after your parents lack of social participation okay you you cannot go on holiday because if you go on holiday you need to ask permission coming from centerlink and this is also stressful in the in the part of the person looking after the elderly okay any more um, 
sorry, Tomas, so we are doing this course for aged care. Yes. So we, we will be trained uh, in theory uh, to work through agent, and the agency will assign us to go to like a community care, to, to go to someone's house. And in that house, someone, the carer will be the, the children who care for their parents. And we are the outsider, we go to their home to help the carer, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. That's in the, uh, the home, the community care uh, environment. So we, we will be actually the external to help the carer who is the children of the, the patient. Yes. The client. Yes. Okay. So we get paid through agency and the carer the, the children uh, get paid through Centenic. Yes. Okay. So if uh, if I were to care for like my family and I had to give my own job, so I would be solely uh, depend on whatever Centenic uh, think I can get allowance for. Yes. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. So, so if for someone who, who to care for their family, if they are, they can't physically, they not able, not strong enough to care mm -hmm. for their family, and they have their own job, what would be the best? Okay, so if arrangement for the person. For, so for, if the the best know, arrangement hire is someone yeah. full time twenty four seven, or what would be the the way, the better way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you 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 need to. The, the social services will assess the family okay. members uh, if they if they if you want to hire a a carer that will look after your parents 24 7 then it's your own prerogative and you will be the one to pay that carer however if you will ask assistance coming from the center link then the social services will okay. assess your I uh, can't. Sorry, you. Yes. Uh, breaking up. I don't know if anyone can hear clear. I I can't hear what you just said before. The um, it sound like you the breaking up the line. Okay. Yeah. So, if you will be the one to look for a carer to your parents, then you need to pay the carer from your own pocket. If you will ask support coming from the center link, then the social services will assess your uh, status, how much you earn every fortnight, how, how much, uh, so that they can also uh, assess if you really need an assistance coming from center link okay um, yeah next okay next is provide carers and families with information about carer support services this is now your question okay under this we have Okay, National Respite for Carers Program, an initiative to support and assist carers. It provides respite services, Commonwealth Respite, and Centerlink Centers. Okay, NRCP Respite Services provide Providers Program Manual and National Carers Counseling Program. So, if you will be the one to look after your parents, then you need to learn all of this okay commonwealth respite and center link centers so that they will be able to determine how much assistance they can give to you if you will be the one to look after your parents okay other support we have financial support educational support social support counseling stress relieving techniques 
So those are the things that you need to learn if you will be the one to look after the elderly. Question? Question? No question. No question? No question. No question. Yes? This one? This one? Yes, I want to shoot this Okay, thank you. No worries. No questions? Okay, can we have a coffee break for 15 minutes? Yes. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Juma. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Luma. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. So can I change? Can I change my device? I can I just log off and log on another one. This one. Ah, yeah, sure, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, no worries. 